Good evening and welcome to the Brookfield Selectmen's meeting of Tuesday, March 20th, 2018. If everyone here would like to join me in saluting the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, okay, it's been a long day. I know it has been a long day today. Okay. I would like to ent entertain a motion to approve the following uh, warrants. Uh, it's a debit warrant for three seven eighteen for fifty three dollars and sixty cents. An expense warrant from three eight eighteen for twenty four thousand nine hundred and five dollars and seventy cents. A payroll warrant. For three fourteen eighteen, for one hundred fifty three thousand three hundred eighty six dollars and sixty two cents, another payroll warrant for three fifteen eighteen, for one thousand three hundred sixty five dollars and ninety one cents, another payroll for three fifteen eighteen for one thousand nine hundred fifty four dollars and seventy seven cents, a proven expense warrant. For 31918, for $44,495.61, and a wire warrant for 31918, for $13.15, an expense warrant for 32018, for $3,783.73. Do you have a motion to that effect? Okay. I'll second that. All right. And uh, I would also like a motion to approve select men's, men's yep. meetings. Madam Chair, let's, let's vote that first. You want to? You want to vote that? We, you have a motion. On oh, second. I'm sorry. I'm yep. sorry. Well, right. I'm moving too quickly. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. A motion to approve those? Warrants? Yeah, you have, you have a motion. You have the second. Second. So. Any discussion? Okay. Mo those in favor? All, all in favor? Aye. 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 There we okay. go. Okay. Approve a selectman's meeting <coughs> minutes from 2 1 18 to and 3 6 18. I'd like a motion. You have a motion to that effect? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then I will also like to acknowledge minutes and reports from other departments. A monthly report from the fire department. I'd like a motion for that. You have a motion for that. Second. Okay. And I'm going to go in, we have some anniversaries here. In the fire department, uh -huh. we have an anniversary of Chief Martell for uh, 32 years of service, Matthew Graves for 26 years, and David Martell for 24 years of service. And I would like to congratulate all three yes. of them. They, they serve the town well, and they're very devoted to the community. I'd like to thank them for their service all these years. Excellent. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we have some announcements. Uh, Tyler Wolin, who is the district aide to Senator Ann Goby, will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. All are welcome. A regional WRTA public hearing will be held on April 12, 2018 at 6.30 p.m. at the Brookfield Congregational Church, 8 Common Street. This relates to possible changes to the WRTA route system. Area residents who ride the bus or those who wish to support this vital transportation link are encouraged to attend. Okay, and now we have a public access, if anyone would like to speak during the public access session of our meeting. Anyone else wants to speak? I will. Um, last meeting, you said I, I questioned about the, the use of uh, salt in the, in the town of Brookfield, and I asked you to put that on the agenda, and I don't see it on the agenda. We we're going to bring that up on the other. <clears throat> what's what's what do you mean on other? Our other um, <clears throat> part of our meeting, the other part of the agenda under other. We were going to bring that up. You couldn't just list that on the agenda. I mean, you had to put it under other. Not that it matters, but. Well, by the time he <coughs> came in, when did he call you, Karen? Was it yesterday? Well, we already have the agenda. Yeah, the agenda was all set up. There were two items you were going to. Yeah. You were going to. 
Yeah, those two different items. Well, let's let's take it out of order right now. Okay, we'll take it out of order right okay. now. Okay, what do you what do you got? What do you got? What's okay, the first why are we thing? using pure salt on all the roads now? All right, <clears throat> we have that here. Karen, did you put it? It's on the other. Yeah, on the other. Right I don't know. Maybe if Mr. Snyder could explain that better than I put the salt. Mm -hmm. that we do not primarily use salt. We use a mix of sand and salt. And so mm -hmm. what, what came from the last meeting was you were to get a report. This is the report that you, at, you asked for. And what that explains is that we have it. I've seen it. Oh, okay. We generally have a 50-50 mix of sand and salt. There are times based on conditions and the like where a straight salt mix, a straight salt would be mm -hmm. in, in um, order and it's really up to the highway superintendent and his knowledge of the roads uh, what action he would take but the accusation that the town uses primarily <coughs> salt is incorrect well I, I beg to differ on that okay. so I've been watching the storms and I've seen what's in the trucks and it's pure salt mm -hmm. and, and if you look down in the salt shed it's pure salt down there <coughs> They had three massive, last week they had three huge, long, super long dump trucks, pure salt, and all three of them. Okay. You can also, uh, if certain intersections, you can see just pure salt just, just spewing out of, the out of the dump trucks as they take the corners. Central Street, up on Lamb Street, High Street, Lake Road, it's <laughs> pure salt. I, I mean, I, I, you, you can't deny it, Clarence. So it's pure actually, salt. I think actually Matt <clears throat> I didn't say that. Did I say that we don't use pure salt? It's what salt. I said no. It's not a mixture. We, we use a prim primarily we use a mixture. You have a report to that effect in front of you. What we do right. do is I, I, I don't agree. You know, this means to, nothing. This report means nothing. Okay, <clears throat> fine. You have a report that we said that we would give you. Further, we're telling you that there are times that we do, in fact, use straight salt based on the st certain conditions that we have. Okay. And, and guess what? We're going to keep doing it. Okay. Because we have a highway superintendent who's responsible to the town, for the safety of the town, and if he deems it necessary, mm -hmm. we're doing it because it's okay. the safety of the town. <clears throat> That's further, all good I'll and handy. It, I'll take it a little bit further as far as what's going on during these recent storms that we've had. Mm -hmm. We've seen in the news other towns with trees all over the place and the like. What I would say is I would also suggest that the highway superintendent has taken his initiative to take down the numbers of trees that he's taken down so that we, in fact, have been minim minimally inf impacted by numbers of trees that have come up down through these various storms. So that I would suggest that we take the, the superintendent and his, his uh, uh, tenacity to do the job to the best of his ability and move on. Trees, we're not discussing trees. We've been taking trees down over the years. We've been doing that for years, and we've been, we have a good program on doing that. That has nothing to do with the use of pure salt. And I asked the question is, why are we taking that policy now to use pretty much pure salt now on, on most storms? Madam Chairman, I suggest that we move I asked, on. well, I asked, no, no, there you go again, brushing it off again, Clarence. No, we're not brushing it off. So, every I time I come up here, I ask something, and you brush everything off. We, he's There's not no brushing. accountability here for any he, questions or answers he, that I have. Nobody is brushing anything off. Madam okay. Chairman, I answered the, the question that he had yep. to the best of my ability. Yeah. I I, I'm suggesting did. that we do not do what he's suggesting. We are in disagreement. I'll see Mr. Holcraft at the town meeting, and we'll have the town decide whether or not the salt but that's, stand. I'm just asking correct. a question. Madam Chairman, may I speak? Uh, if you actually read that, one of the things that if you sit down and do the math and actually read the information that we provided to you. Mm -hmm. I've done it before. Per road <clears throat> mile, well that's great, apparently it didn't stick. Uh, per road mile, the straight salt, based on properly calibrating the equipment, actually runs, let's see what the number comes out exactly because it's too tiny on my cell phone screen, winds up saving us about $900 per well, that's that's what the paperwork says. That's but, what the paperwork But I'm talking says. about so, the use of what the the salt is doing okay. to our so, wells, so to, to we the land. To I understand that. <clears throat> what, what I'm just saying is that the Snyder already did. I had a question. He answered. All right. So, so okay. So basically, I'm not going to get an answer of usage of why we're using pure salt. We, we you, gave you the answer. We Go gave ahead. you the answer. You can't buy it next. It you, doesn't come next. You have to no. fix it there. That's, That's correct, Ken. The is pure salt, which is uh, more of a, if the sand isn't working in the cold weather, the, sand, the salt does because it 
once it hits the road, it melts. That's the melt. The sand doesn't. It just sticks. And just to clear, yeah. clarify what I did say. Ken, did it's been say. working for umpteen thousand years. Where, where are you well, coming from? The state uses pure <coughs> salt also. If you go the up the you. They, they, everybody's using the pure <coughs> salt now. It's but that, yeah, but I, I don't care what everyone else. I'm just, I'm asking, you know, what the policy is and the usage because salt is, is is more expensive. It's not good for the wells. It's not good for the swamps. It's not good for our wetlands. It's not well, good for cars. To explain to you, Dave, you, you, you don't get as much. You don't get as much. You don't get as well. That's what that says. I disagree with it. But you don't get as much traction. We're, 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 we're going to move on. And, and All right, so you didn't answer. Okay, so okay. try to get a que an answer for me to my a, question. And then another thing I want to give you also, you had yeah. asked about the repairs at Tantasqua. Yeah. And this was either, I have a copy for everybody on the board. This was either in the, the new leader. Okay, or the good. Part of the <clears throat> and I copied it. And Thank I got you. it out for you so you can see the repairs, what's going on at Tantasqua. What was the date on this, Linda? It was, it, I, oh, remember when you came to us? Yeah, I know, but I mean, when did this article come out? That article came out that same week that we that had the same, okay. paper, but it was what? It was the same week that we had it on the Two weeks ago. Okay. So I saw the article and I put it All right, together good. and I cut it out and I copied <clears> it for you so you'd have it. All right, good. All right, thank you for getting this. All right, well, try to get me an answer on, on the use of why we're using pure salt. You got your answer. So, well. I don't accept it, and I don't. I think it's a poor answer. Did you have okay. anything else you want to bring up this evening? No, I think I'm good for the moment, Linda. All right, thank you. Okay. All right. Now our next next one on the agenda. We're going to award the town report printing. Usually, um, we have about. Karen sends them out to 10 different people, and only two respond at this time. Usually she we got much more, at yes. least six yes. respond. So she only got two quotes. I was shocked. I thought they were all going to come in at the last minute, and we only got two. two. So we're, um, it was from County Press for um, $1,216.07, and Alpha Graphics for $1,636.98. And we print usually $400. Book. So um, I would like a motion to award the um, the contract to the country press at one thousand two hundred and sixteen dollars and seven cents. You have that motion? Second. Uh, um, we, any, you have I just uh, we've used well. I've used them separate yes. from the town business, yeah, and they do a nice yeah, they, nice job. They've been doing it the last few years, and they're always they're always the cheapest anyway. But and they do a good job. job. And they do a good they job. Yeah. They do a great job. Excellent. As you can see, okay. so in this case, a little bitter wins. Okay. Yeah, a little bitter. Okay, now, um, next on the agenda, I would like to uh, set the date for our annual town meeting. Good point. And I had talked to the town accountant today, she was in, and she thinks a good, um, she's going to be gone, what is it, the first week? of June or someplace, but she thinks that a good date to set it would be June 15th of this year. And that would be for this for this uh, annual at 7 and the special would be at 6.30. If that's agreeable with the two of you. Sounds good to me. 15th, is that a Friday? That's a Friday evening. Okay. And, uh, okay, and then uh, I'd like a motion for that. Do you have a motion to that effect? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, then have I, we checked with the uh, uh, moderator, to, both the moderator and the school, to see if both the facility no, will be open? Will, we set it, we before we set it, we always do. Yeah. Okay, and then I would like to open the warrant for the annual town meeting tonight, and I would like it to close at uh, April 2nd at 3 p.m., so it gives them, you know, a little more than a month to do that. April 2nd? Well, April 2nd isn't a little more than a month. <laughs> April 2nd is another quarter. You mean April 20th? Oh, tw April 20th. I got my dates wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Nope, no, that's fine. I got my dates wrong. Let me look on the calendar again because I was looking at another one. Okay, April 2nd. Okay, why don't we close it? It'll give them a probably on the 30th. That's what it was. I have my dates wrong. April 30th? Yeah, we'll close at April 30th. And I talked to, uh, Steve Phyllis couldn't make the meeting this evening, but I've been in contact with Steve. And he said, you know, that sounds fine to him. But he would probably like to come in 
our next meeting in two weeks, maybe have a joint meeting and explain a lot of this, a lot of this to the membership because he says it's such a, he has so many new people that they don't really understand the opening and the closing of the warrants. So I agree to that. Okay, great. So we can do that with Steve. What time are you closing it at 1 April 30th? We're going to close it on at 3 p.m. Okay. So oh, oh, then let's, if we're going to do that, when's our meeting? And then we will meet on May. No, no, no. Come back just before the April 30. What's our last meeting? Um, April 17th, I think. Yeah, the 17th. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to close it on the 30th. Okay. And now, um, all right, and then the, now the special. Instead of opening it tonight, I thought maybe we could open the special on April 30th. And that's where I got my dates mixed up. And then the town accountant suggested that we close it May 31st because she says oh, by then a lot of the departments will know, you know, just what they need for monies because she said there are quite a few deficits in a lot of the departments. So if that's agreeable with both of you, that's what we'll do. Yep. It'll give everybody plenty of time. So it'll, op it'll open when? And 4.30 um, and close 5.31. Yeah. Say that again. We'll open the special warrant on April 30th, okay. and then it'll close on May 31st at 3 p.m. Okay. I want to make sure I understand this. So you're opening the, uh, the annual, annual town meeting now. Yes. Opening it now, and you're closing it at 4.30 at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. You're opening the special town meeting, meeting warrant on 4.30, you're closing it at 5.31 at 3 p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also we can set it when we get closer. We usually meet um, at 6 o'clock before the uh, annual with the advisory mm -hmm. board, but we can set that before we'll set that. Mm -hmm. So those dates are all agreeable with both of you? Okay, and we'll, you can check with the school, and we'll check with Mr. Fagano. I'm sure those dates are pretty well with him also. Okay. So then we'll try to get to we'll try to get together on our next meeting with the advisory board and we'll have a joint meeting so we can explain all this out to them. Okay. With regards to communication to the department heads, there were a number of items at the last town meeting that we had put off intending to do a fall special. We did not do a fall special. Um, do we want to communicate to the department heads that items that were not included will automatically roll? Do they need to resubmit their documentation? I know that the Capital Improvement Planning Committee had um, at least uh, recommended inclusion of most of the items that had been passed over um, at the annual town meeting. Do we want to just go ahead and roll those items no, directly to the No, they have to be resubmitted. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, that's just to make sure. Just, just to make sure. Just I, would, I, I would, one of the things that, that, that in the, in the uh, context, this question comes in the context of a conversation where, um, uh, the department had said, hey, we want to, you know, we want to make sure that we're meeting our obligations, but we can't unless it's communicated to us what the expectations well, well, are. I'll, I'll send an email and I'll remind them that they have to receive their articles. Okay. Well, the, what I was going to say is that uh, if we could at least, I know that we won't necessarily have minutes out from this meeting, but if we could include this entire timeline in that communication oh. where it basically oh, says, oh, well, hey, so town meeting is going to be. Karen, 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 she always does that. When, when, yeah, when they set the town meeting, the annual town meeting, the special town yeah. meeting, and when they also set the, uh, the deadlines, I always send it along, along with I attach the uh, the article sheets to them. Okay, great. Yeah, so I do that anyway. Oh, so that she does that anyway. Great. Yeah, yeah, because it's just because well, I don't think we ever proactively communicated to him that we weren't doing a fall special. Yeah. We talked about it at the meeting, but I don't think we actually well, got a communication out. Well, because I think we might to just school. right. So, so yeah. it's yeah. And just I, to ensure that they're. And then I talked to the town yeah. accountant yeah. today, and she said, you know. The big thing right now is that they're getting working on Schedule A to get that in, and she says she's sure by the time town meeting comes around, we will have our free cash. Good deal. I mean, they've got a lot. Oh yeah, she's and, done. A, she's done a lot. I mean, there's been a, a lot of catch up there, for, and, it's, and this isn't that it's all been the last two or three years. It's been, it's a car say from ten years on or even longer. Right. It's been. I'm, I'm a little. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that's that's. Um, seems to, to be clear is that this is this is more than just the last couple no, of years. No, it's not just the kid. This goes back, I didn't say it goes back 20 years or longer. 
and there's been a lot of things that haven't been done, and this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to get everything reconciled right up to date. Okay. One question I do have is, is um, have, have you had any communication with the treasurer's office about kicking off a, a reconciliation process between themselves and the accountant for current year? Because I know that uh, Keith had spoke to it when we uh, did the treasurer's no, I review. Haven't, I haven't had any um, communication. Would you, would you prefer to reach out to him or can I follow up with him about um, what the status is on, on what he had said they were going to establish between the treasurer and the accountant's office? I think one of this should back to back to communication. Okay. Okay. I certainly. just, uh, so if you don't, know, because I've got a second piece to that one. Yeah, okay. Good, good. So you would like to know. Uh, if, Kirk, if we've if Kirk. we've developed uh, if we've started and developed the process for reconciling between the treasurer's office and the accountant's office for the current year, and that may have been ongoing, which is great. I'm just a little concerned about that. Yeah. But I think the other piece to this, Linda, is mm -hmm. Carrie's support. Oh, I know. I, and and it, it, what, I, when I bumped into her on the yeah. call today, I just said to her, if she needed additional yeah. resources, that she just needs yeah. to tell you. I've told her, too. I mean, Carrie's been doing an excellent job. I mean, yeah, but she's she, just one person. Yeah, she's not one person. I mean, she's she's found all of these you know, mistakes over the years, and she brought them forward, and she, she knew where to go to get her get the help to get these problems Absolutely. corrected yeah. because all the other years I mean uh, they've just been like you don't like to say they're just like been put under the rug and yeah, nobody but, has but done been, anything about it's it it's been small things and, 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 and it's it, been it a lot of yeah. turnovers and different people who have hold these positions over the years yeah. and I finally right now I feel we have a good team and they're correcting <clears> all these problems yeah. and we're going to come out on top everything's going to be reconciled and I I think we'll just move on forward. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But and, I, and my question is more just to make certain that we're positioned to do that um, so that we don't wind up accumulating more of a backlog of this work and wind up back where we exactly. started. No, I don't think so. Um, but right now, I mean, I don't know where they are currently, if they are, you know, reconciling right now. Well, they, the they, sh they with, should at with least her, be. Because she said that she, right now I talked to Carrie, she said she's got a lot on her plate going on right now. That's true, but they could reconcile. They still do have the, it may actually make a lot of what she's doing easier. Um, and I suspect she would be open to um, kicking that process off if it hasn't been kicked off already. Well, I'll talk um, to the both of them yeah, about that. that. That'd be great. I'll that'd talk be great. to the two of them about that. Super. That'd be awesome. And I know Lonnie had uh, Vader was here all day. I saw And them. she had a training session with Vader today, too. Good. Great. It's been good. Keep working the problem. Best we can. I know that's all we can do is just Spe keep working on it. Speaking of the finance and communications, I know that you've had a lot on your plate. Is, is there anything that we could do to support you in kicking back off with the, the financial procedures manual? Getting the well, lesson. that's what I was waiting to get yeah. this oh, done, get and, then, done. And, then, okay. and then I was going to jump back. Because where, where that stands is everything up to the treasurer's office has been completed, it's done, it's been Perfect. distributed, yeah. we're operating to the, those, those conditions, mm -hmm. and now what we have to do is trip over into the treasurer's office to continue that. I've given it to Lonnie, but I've said the other things are more important right now. Okay. Okay, okay do we want to bring up anything else under this portion? No. I think, no, I think so, so do we do our motion to have all of these? I'd like a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion to the effect of the but dates the for special. Town and the opening of and the warrants. And the warrants, yes. And Karen, you, you have all the dates. Yes, I okay, and so I'll second that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, our next one is to approve for the Town Hall Improvement Committee. We had a request from Bill Simpson. Yep. He would like the town to authorize um, the committee to spend up to four hundred dollars for a dehumidifier and a new hard door, new door for hardware for the server room in the basement. And he said the funds will be drawn from the town hall improvement account. That, and he'll he'll install. Really and the front and each of those funds were from the premises of the of the town hall. So it has not it's not taking funds from any other. Because I was I didn't know if it was taking yeah. funds out of that fifty thousand that we had already no, it's appropriated. Not, but exactly it's not. not. Yeah. So I would like a motion to approve that. You have that motion? Second. Any and, discussion? 
I get just a point that, that we're going to have a variety show here soon where proceeds of that come towards the town hall. So we want to encourage everybody to come so to the gonna, riot. So is it going to be downstairs? No, it's over in the school oh, because the we school? can't oh, yeah, do we things can't. here. Yet. Okay, yet. <laughs> yeah. So we're over at the school on May the 4th, if my memory's right, and for the variety show. So okay. I would encourage the folks to show up. Good. Okay, thank you. All right. So we'll have a, so we will prove that. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, now I would like to move on to this, but we have two more special permits. One, the event. Oh, what? Okay, the event is on 9-22-2018 at Quaybog Pond, and that's for the Coventry Bass Anglers. And I would like to have a motion to approve that. I have a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's We're over a thousand, I stopped at it. <laughs> Maybe in the Okay. Um, I, I, I have just one quick add on, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, I know this came in uh, prior to our last meeting, um, but can we contact O'Reilly, Talbot, and Oaken and just ask them if they would um, uh, CC the town on the results of their uh, mitigation? efforts because it says it says in the communication that they have um, uh, that they're going to be doing some cleanup related to removing the oil tank and it would be good to just get the follow-up um, just get the report post okay. that removal you know I don't think we need any additional engagement but I, I think it would be good for us to have on file any results following that okay. You can give me a before you leave. Yep, absolutely. All right. Then uh, I know we had to cancel yesterday's meeting with town council, so uh, I'm not able to make it on Monday. And they said probably sometime in April would be good. So I don't know if we want to try to pick some April dates. That would be good. Like, well, see, they're running in. They're running in April. They're running into town meeting starting already. I know. That's why we got to get this thing going. Do we want to maybe, hmm? Do we want to try something maybe for um, the beginning of the week on eight, the first week of April? And see if something is good I, for them? I would see if they've got a date then. Uh, okay. Yeah. See if yeah. they can do anything the first week of April. You guys are all open to that. Yeah, because we have a meeting at 6.30. And depending on how much is on that meeting, we could even maybe go through that agenda if there's not a lot okay. Oh no, that's when Steve wants to come in and do the joint meeting with the advisory board. Yeah, so, so we could explain. On April 3rd, that, that's what he told you, Steve Gilbert. Yes, the next one. Right, so you can yeah, so that. Okay. We want to avoid the third then. Yeah, we want to avoid the so third. So we're going to, going to make that a joint meeting. No one told me that, I'll check. Yeah, talk to Steve because he said he just wanted the, he says there's so many new members that they have on the board. And he said he would just like us to explain you know, the opening, closing of the warrants and going yeah. over the articles and things like that. I just want to tell you, the next meeting we have is 417, and that's when I'm taking my week's vacation because my dog's having her baby on the 16th. Okay. So <clears throat> my daughter's not a big important that. Well, do we, so, well, what we could do is actually check with some of the other boards that have clerks and see if their clerks want well, to pick up. Well, didn't you say that Lois might come in? Lois said she'd come in, and she said she'd hand write it, but I just didn't want it to be a huge, like, like when you review the, um, the articles or anything. I didn't want to put too much oh, work on it. Okay. If it's not a heavy agenda, then yes. I yeah. So it's three and seventeen for the next month. Uh, it's uh, four three and four seventeen. You can always change the date to the next week. We could do the next week. Do we want to do the next week? We could do it on 17. the twenty fourth. You want to do that sure. instead? Yeah, why but then do? let's the, the lawyer meeting we've got to get going. Because yeah, we've got to get these buildings torn down. down. But Lois maybe right, we'll have Lois we'll have Lois do it. And, and if, it, if I think it gets if the agenda's getting too heavy then we'll post No, we can skip week. though, Karen. We can skip yeah. the six seventeenth okay. and we can do the twenty fourth. All right. But I mean say if they want to meet with us and we want to get it going right off with them, but say if it's during the week, you're going to be out. Oh, Lois, I'd, I'd right. recommend maybe that we want to leave the 17 in place, and just if there's anything critical, we can always cancel it, like okay. right right prior to it. You know, that way, if anything comes up, that way it's not three weeks between us we'll meeting. We'll leave the 17. Just for if like, there's now, something that's important. Do you want me important. to set the 24th, or do you yeah. want to yeah, set, the 20, yeah. set the 24th? Yeah. 
but then let's see what game he can we'll do. We'll see, yeah, see, see when they can come up. Why don't we see if they can come up sometime on the first? I mean, I know they want to do an afternoon meeting. Right. See if the, the Tuesdays and Wednesdays I'm usually in town. So, so Karen, uh, Beth is in town on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so maybe if they can see if it's a Tuesday, Wednesday earlier in the month. Yeah, and if, if they can't, then the Thursdays usually I can swap for a, for one of my other days that's in town. Hopefully for two or four, three, and, and if they want to come in the evening, that's okay with you guys. Yeah. If I can get them to come during the meeting. Yeah. But I think it's going to be. That, I think it's going to be a long meeting. I don't. Th I wouldn't want them here for an evening meeting. Okay. Then we'll, they, we'll try it's too bad they couldn't come out for. I know that they. The other one was going to be at two in the afternoon. Too bad they couldn't maybe come out, say even ten or eleven in the morning, and we could try to get it done. Okay. Through it. Yes. And actually, actually, Thursday mornings are usually pretty good for me. I can, I can swap that in pretty easily if we okay. want to do a day meeting. Yeah, so get right in touch with them in the morning. Okay, thank you. Okay, All right, and now we have some correspondence here. Uh, we had this. Let's see. The first one came from, um, from. Uh, Trudy O'Connell, who is the chairman of Brookfield Invincible, and they had, I guess, um, Chief Blanchard was down yep. there, That's and he's, uh, he, he spent the su Sunday with them and explaining to them all about, you know, the different uh, things about, they asked him views on gun safety, school safety, and ways in which gun laws in our state could be made more effective, and I guess he gave a very good presentation, and she would just like to commend him for what he did. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then our next one here is from the um, Memorial Day Parade Committee, and they are, a are asking us to uh, to march and speak during the ceremonies. And that's what that is. And we always do that. And we're very we're very welcome that we will do that for them. So that's about. I guess that's it. How about okay. anybody want to bring up anything under other tonight? Um. Can we do a really brief executive session on some final um, uh, sure. and not tying on the on the uh, bargaining unit contract? Sure, we can do that. We'll go in under under number two on that. And number two is okay. We'll, okay, we'll take a vote now if we want to go into motion. The, motion to go into executive session at 7:05, and then we will vote to. Uh, reconvene uh, our, our regular meeting and to adjourn that. And we're going to go in under number two. And I will read it. Where is it at the front? And number two is to conduct strategy sessions and preparations for negotiations where non union personnel are to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiation with non union personnel. Uh, Lincoln with the union. No. Yes, we're, we're dealing with union yes. personnel. It says none. Yeah, I said number two, but you know what? It's number. Mm -hmm. Is it three? Okay, okay, three. okay, let me just read that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we only have a three list. To discuss st strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation, if any open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation positions of the public body, and the chair so declares. Uh, Lincoln, I? Sandra. Coughlin, I.